As we go around, it's a little, little drive around the ball, Annie, if you could, or you could hit it. I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. Okay. All right. I've actually got some momentum now, so I'm going to switch hands and I'm going to touch. <laughs> and she'll stop. But in a little bit of time, if I were to continue working at this, hello. If I were to continue working at this, I should be able to be beside her, driving her with my feet, which comes from the energy of the body. So, if you were using a tool, a different tool, because sometimes it's hard to manage your rope and you might not have a very long rope and it might not be that easy to do. If I were to do it with my flappy flappy, as we've shown before, and it's just, it's just noisy. Okay, she already knows to go, which is nice. So I'm gonna invite her forward. I'll go with her. Little energy from behind, which I just have to lift and then get that thing on the ground. Get it out of sight even. Make it just not visible. Little energy to come around, not pulling. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. And here I might encourage a stop by bringing up my flappy, flappy, flaggy, drivey thing. And I pet her and I wanna draw her and I'll even draw her with this thing behind me so she can follow it. We're not trying to make them afraid of this thing. We don't want to go shaking it around too much. I mean, it's not that we don't wanna acclimate them to it. So if I, if I go like this, and she backs off, I'll sort of hang on with her for a second here and I'll wait till she relaxes. You can do that acclimation. That's what, not what this is about. <laughs> but just for everybody that's probably wondering for sure, well, what do you do, how do you get them not afraid of it and stuff? Well, you have them follow it and you have them not be afraid of it and you get rid of the flies with it and, and you have them sniff it and you put it on their ears and their eyes and, right? It shouldn't matter. She should be cool with this. Thanks, Annie, you're making me look good. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's not go too far. Let's just cover the basics and I'll cover more in the future, future video. When we're driving, when we're doing our groundwork and we're driving, we want to draw, but we have to drive. So essentially I'm going to ask Annie into a forward motion to an area that I'm looking at. I might pick up, say, let's go. <laughs> Come on, slow poke, right? In fact, I'm not gonna use that anymore. Okay, so I got a circle. Annie's nose is kind of on the inside, but her mind is kind of on the outside. I'm a little back here, which is fine, but I'm gonna end up catching up. So I'm looking where my circle is. We're coming in tighter. I'm just going to draw her through this circle a little bit. I might snap or hit my leg for a different drive. Pet her, pet her, pet her, pet her. Good. Now my driver is my legs, my feet, what my feet are doing. I don't have my rope in this hand. I'm not hitting my leg anymore. My feet, what my feet are doing, she should be thinking about how can she kind of do that thing. And that is, in my opinion, the best sort of successive set of actions that we can do to start working on how going around in these crazy circles. Well, reality is we can actually go in lots of straight lines and pentagons and triangles and whatever, but we want to be able to do it as if we're riding. So sooner or later, we're gonna be here. The activity of groundwork is never send them out and keep them out. The activity of groundwork should be out you go. So let's get a little bit busy, right? Out you go, but come on back in. So I want her to go, but I wanna to try to match up a little. See, she's a little worried, so I'll ask her to slow. Cause I got busy there, produced more action. My arm went up briefly, I don't know if you saw that but I know when she's slowing down because her cadence changes. And she draws in, ask her to go, touch, touch. We're good, I mean, good friends. Touch, 
I mean, go, I mean, <laughs> my words are backwards. Touch here. See? Okay. Now ask her to be with me a little bit better. Turn left. I'll look left a lot. Go any. Because I'm looking. I haven't asked for a stop of any sorts. And now I'm almost riding. Okay, my hands are probably where they're gonna be if I'm riding. A little more Annie. Good girl. Come on around. Now my hand coming off will worry her. It'll be a preference to have it on. I know, that was pinchy with the stairs, wasn't it? Come around. Good girl, Annie, good girl. Okay, now I wanna come up the arena because we're making it a long ways down. So I'll show you guys how I might do that. I'll go a little quicker. <laughs> and slow. I might pull in, just as I would do if I was in the saddle. Right? I might even start to turn my body more. Oh yeah. Good. And draw. That's drive to me. Going around in circles and doing groundwork in mindless sort of circles and turning left and turning right probably has its uses somewhere. But the evolution of groundwork should be for the sole purpose of getting a horse better to be ridden or ridden for that matter. So we've got the two concepts. We've got drive and draw that we must use constantly. Right? We've got a couple tools. We've got our rope, which I highly recommend getting really good at and getting away from flags and sticks if you can. And how to be the best friend ever so that they're not afraid. And we really want to kind of match up with movements because that's what's going to be the driver. That energy that you have of walking the pace that you have. What happened, Annie? What'd you see? What happened? It's a bird. What you have should translate to the horse so that anything else that happens will, will just be weird and you'll catch it faster because you are doing your best to sync up or match up. So anyways, hopefully that is useful. Maybe this got a little bit long, apologize for that. Um, if you have any questions, of course, ask anytime. And I hope you guys are having a great day. We are, that went really well. And he's a model citizen here and has been an absolute joy to work with. So I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Good job, Annie.